Right, so you okay? Yes. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Well, okay, ready. Right, let's go. Welcome to Triple uh, C Rated. This is the third episode of a podcast uh, hosted by me, Chin, and my mum, Chu. Yeah. And today we're doing something different. So we normally talk about, well, it's the third episode, so it's not really normal. We have. In the past, we first episode, we talked about things about customers that annoy us. And the, the second episode, we just talked about difference between English and Chinese culture. Sorry for the background noises as well. There's seagulls and we're on industrial estate, so yeah. that's, we can't, that can't be helped. It's called nature. Nature. <laughs> yeah, trucks aren't natural, but they're, you can hear them backing up. You, you might not hear them, but if you can, you can, and we apologise for that. But yeah, so this, this podcast, we're going to talk about things that, well, I'm going to talk about things that piss me off. Yes. Mum's going to talk about things that really annoy her. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, something I find it quite quite annoying, you know. Like this morning, I was watching um, what is that? The Winter Olympic. They were doing that. Wait, what do... Is that on now? Yes, it's on now. Nearly finished. Now. I was going to say it was in Beijing. Is yeah. is held in Beijing? Yeah. Um, they were doing that winter that they rolled the ball. I can't remember what it's, is it curling. Called? Yes. Yeah. And they were exp- They were doing really well then. The 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 the, 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 the the men team, um, but they lost it to Yellow Sweden or I can't remember which one was it then. Anyway, they lost it, and um, obviously you get already so annoyed. You lost. You were hoping that you go and get a goal, but eventually you did not. And why people go and interview people lost straight away? Of course, they haven't got any haven't got a good vibe on them and just let them for god's sake give them some time to breathe let them lick their womb yeah it's straight lick yeah. their womb no w-o-n-d wound wound yeah <laughs> lick their wounds they um they, they, i don't get it either it's like and the thing is it won't just be one interview it'll be with loads of different stations yeah. so so it's, they ask ridiculous questions as well like <laughs> So you've lost. How's that feel? <laughs> of course they're lost. <laughs> Can you not see by the look on their face? They're crying. Yes. <laughs> and then to put that on a straight face. Oh, it's just, it's terrible. It's a torture. You're uh, already the, losing. They should be allowed to swear. Pardon? They should be allowed to swear. They should be allowed to go. If someone asks a stupid question, yeah. they should be allowed to go. If someone goes, so how do you feel? You can say, what? Well, I feel fucking shit. I just <laughs> lost. What, what the fuck do you think? <laughs> Instead of just going... Oh, yeah, what would you expect them to next say? Time. Yeah, let them do that to the next time. <laughs> Come on, champ. Next time, next time. It'll be four years. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, isn't it? And yeah. I, I also don't get it from the other side as well when they instantly go and interview um, the winner. Yes. Especially in boxing, like they've been, they've been a lot of the time they go twelve rounds, right? And they've been punching the head a few times. Yeah, a few times. They haven't got a. What's coming in, what's going on, you but know? But even the winner has to stand Accept there and it, yeah, to, a few do times interviews to... straight away. And they say the same thing. And then I like, I find it really uninteresting because you can just see the boxer wants to go away yes. and celebrate or go and cry. <laughs> yeah, and if they decide that, or the winner or what, whoever was it, the, the, what do you call the people who took part in the competition? What do you call them? Boxers. Not boxer. <laughs> Any of them, the boxer or whatever, if they decided Athletes. not, yeah, if they decided they don't feel like talking to anybody, they can, you know. After a tournament, they were jumping and all this, and they expect them to talk to them. And if they don't want to talk to them, they get they'll get a big, big, uh, what do you call it? Pay cut. Yeah. I don't know how it works. I, I assume that they have to talk to the media after every everything they uh, do every tournament yeah. yes but if they were sponsored by it so they have to then isn't it yeah but yeah so don't mind it when they're when they're winning isn't it especially when they lost you don't just not feel that like interest in talking yeah it's not fair actually <laughs> no when you think about it's it. not fair and then all the camera and on your face yeah it's not like you're just talking to one person the whole world <laughs> can see you crying <laughs> crying inside <laughs> One of them, I thought he was going to burst out into tears this morning. I felt really terrible for them. And then they go off into interview the father as well, who had just the the, the lost him. They interviewed the father. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Your son's a failure. 
<laughs> it doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah. <sighs> it's probably because they're just searching for time in the air yes. to fill. Why don't they just film the atmosphere, all the, all the people, rather than... Well, the... I'll, I'll be honest, I'd rather see someone talk than just panning around the crowd. <laughs> That's really boring. Now for the next three minutes, the crowd. <laughs> They're jumping up and down, yeah. yeah. Or film how they're getting ready for their gold medal then. What do you <laughs> the mean clip. how they get... they, they have to wait for their gold medal. It's in that stand on the stand there. They're going to get the medal uh, and all right. this. Yeah, 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 they could go and interview those people. Yeah. Yeah, who do you think you, you, you thought would win or will lose? I don't know. I mean, they can interview the people, go and get the medals. Yeah, but they already know because they won the medals. Well, I mean, before before that... Oh, uh, right, so they can the... inter interview them before, the, but they probably do anyway. Mm. So you just be watching the same interview over again. Yeah. But it's... there's no, never is the right way or right way or wrong way, is it? But it's yeah. just, it is what it is now. Yeah, it mm. is. Sport, though, I don't, I'm not a real, real big fan of sport. I'm surprised you're watching it, to be honest. Is it only because it's in Beijing? No, no, it's not because a uh, uh, dad is watching it. I've got no other, no. well, so I might as well just sit and watch it then. But it can get, I don't mind watching in the last last bit there, the final one. Yeah, the, yeah, the cause, final cause two. Because it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, there's more interesting, yes. Or sometimes the beginning can be interesting. Really? Semi final and final is the so most sometimes interesting. The, the end can be interesting, sometimes the beginning can be interesting, yes. sometimes the middle, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> the whole thing's interesting to you, mother, yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> all right. So that that's that's one of your annoyances, is it? Yeah, for the for recently, yeah. Mine one is seagulls. Oh, yeah, they're quite a lot. I actually. Block out. It doesn't really bother me. It bothers me because it's like screechy. It's worse. Mm. We, we we live by the sea, right? So we we're, we're trying to film. Oh, when we're trying to film, I don't know what it is, but when we're trying to do videos for YouTube, right? There's always someone wanting to do something outside the window. Yeah. So there's either someone drilling, mowing a fucking lawn, or a car. Normally, there's no cars. Suddenly, there were about two or three cars whirling past. Yeah, worsening. Yeah, yeah woozing yeah, past. Woozing past. Yeah. And why? I just. They must. No, we're not that interesting. <laughs> I was just no, saying they must sit and wait for us. Of course it's coincidence. Coincidence, it's coincidence. It's yeah. every time. But I feel like that. It's always like that. When we it's sat there all day, nothing, nothing. going on, yeah. And the then, day we do the video, there's so many things going around. The, the thing is, because it's wintertime, it's not an issue to have the window closed, and it does drown out enough that. I can sort of take care of it in editing. But in the summer, when it's fucking hot, yeah. and we're cooking, and to have that window closed, if you look really carefully on some of my old videos, it's sweating. you can see the sweat just dripping off me, and I have to have a sweat rag. Yeah, pouring out. Yeah. It is pouring out <laughs> of me. I look like I just walked out of the shower. <laughs> the reason I have hair like this is so when it, I do sweat, it doesn't look weird. It all yes, come just off brush it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am sweaty though. Yes, you are. Cheers, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of my annoyances, but that uh, that's not the actual annoyance I'm always going to go on about. Um, the one that I find is it's, it's a personal thing, but it's I think it's quite poignant and probably maybe the kind of people who did this in the first place aren't in. Not, I wouldn't say power, but in in the, what's the word, council? It wasn't the council. Anyway, long story short is, uh, about 10, eight years ago it was, I applied f to have a takeaway in a unit um, near some, what's the word, houses. And so I had to go through planning permission, right? Went through all the stages, even went through um, on my planning how it wouldn't be a nuisance because people couldn't just turn up it'd be delivery service only so there wouldn't be just random people going through to people's estates um, the, the traffic wasn't the issue that people had there was a smell that it might generate that the people had an issue with um, 
You just put your phone on silent for <laughs> Thank you. Um, and then we... It's throwing me off. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Where was I? A planning permission. Oh, yeah. Look. It's the smell. So then I, I basically had to have an extractor system that would have cost a fortune so that there would have been literally zero smell coming out of that place. And they still rejected it. So then I had to show the scientific proof behind what this thing is capable of. Basically, it was an extractor system that biohazardous companies use to stop poisonous gases and like microbes from leaching into the atmosphere. That it was a, it's basically, a, I think it's called a HEPA filter, but it goes through carbon, it goes through lots of stuff, and, it, and, and basically the air that comes out is just water mm. and, um, and oxygen and carbon dioxide. So it takes a lot of the larger particles like smells out. And, and they still rejected it. And what annoyed me about why they rejected it is because, one, they didn't believe me, so they thought I was lying, which I think is fucking ridiculous. And I, I think if anyone else had tried to do, anyone who wasn't Chinese who tried to uh, do that would have got through and it would have been fine because the same council let someone put up a Portuguese fucking place in an estate. Anyway, that's, uh, that's by the by. I didn't have an issue with it. Um, but anyway, what really pissed me off was when one of the councillors turns around and just went, I don't even like that sort of food anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we've already got too many of, of them round here. Yeah, them. Uh, yeah. So they used the word. They were quite... Uh, not Racist? Really nice. Yeah. <laughs> really? Mm. And that was like, I couldn't, I couldn't honestly believe it. And I'm pretty sure I could get the transcripts back. If, and then they probably only keep them for seven years, don't they? I'm not sure how long they keep it, yeah. But it was quite, uh, not very nice, you know. People yeah. were, at the end of the day, just trying to make a business. It's better than somebody just not doing anything. Yeah, but I think I was I was kind of okay with the whole, that the people didn't want it near the houses. I get that, even though your issue I had covered and would have been fine with. I fucking get that, that's fine. What I, don't, what, I, what I don't get is there was no need to tell us that you don't even like our food anyway. That mm. was... And then they said other things as well in there about um, other, other ethnic th food. Yes. Um, which I thought was... Indian as well. Yeah, yeah. They, they said, don't like the Indian as well. They don't like they Indian said. food either. They could smell it when they drive into the town. They don't even like that smell. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't smell it because I'd spent a fortune on the fucking filters. <laughs> Like this whole extraction system was insane. It, it would it would have cost half the amount it it would have cost me to set out that unit as a kitchen. That's how much that um, unit cost. So yeah, that's that's more of, more more of a grievance than an annoyance actually. Think about it, but that's just round here in general, to be honest. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. I don't know what what people what's always say. Yeah, um, like. I mean, not England, I mean, some southwest Somerset. I always find that we get tra treated differently from other people as well. Like, this, here's a good one. Loads of people come to my restaurant or your place, love mm. it, right? Mm. Very few people tweet that they've been there and like it. They go to somewhere else and they... they, they uh, uh, these people also say how good our food is and it's how it's the best any food on the Exmoor, whatever. Yes. They don't tweet, they don't Instagram it, they don't Facebook it, but they go down to a, a fucking tea room. Yeah. <laughs> have a fucking scone <laughs> and jam and go, oh yes, this is this is really good. That's all over their social fucking media. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it does, it does tend to get that way as well. It's like, uh, it's, people actively go out their way not to promote us. Uh, Look, I, I see people get free advertising from, like, I don't know, discover this place, discover that place. And no one ever mentions us. No. <laughs> Never. And I'm just like, we actually, genuinely, in the summer, uh. loads of people come down just for our food. There was this one time when Mum's Place was all taken up by fans of our YouTube channel yeah. eating outside. Uh. <laughs> like, all of all of the... Um, furniture was taken up by them and no one can seem to see this or, or they just don't want to see it 
Yes. Or maybe I'm just look, looking too much into it. And um, they're like that with everyone, but I don't think they are. No. <laughs> because I can see it. Yeah, you can see it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, though. Yes, it is a bit, I think. We get passed up for so much stuff as well. I, I always ask for things. Like, um, and everyone, like, for example, unit next to us, and everyone conveniently forgets that we've asked. Yes. Do you know? Hmm. Or we all, oh, oh, one thing's it's okay for one person to do, and then the second we do it, it's not okay. It's not okay. Yeah. Oh. And then we get a letter, and I'm saying, well, okay, we'll take that off. Then someone else goes and does it. Then we have to write a letter to them to say, <laughs> well, why are they allowed to do it? And they go, oh, it's all right. No, you, take, can, yeah. you can do it now. What? Yeah, it takes so long time for them to get a reply as well. Yeah. Are you fucking joking me? It's like. <laughs> And now, now, it's just, it's, it's a constant battle for us. And, and, and I thought it was in my head at first. I just thought, no, it's just, we're unlucky. And then Lydia, my wife, started working for us. And she goes, I can't honestly believe, like, it, they do actually treat you differently. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. Mm. And that was like an outside, because she, she was just like, I think it's in your head. And then she came to work for us. She goes, no, that you, no, this is, even customers that come in and act differently f f to us than they would somewhere else. We, but we covered that in the first yes. uh, hmm. podcast. We won't go over that again. No, otherwise get a little bit too much. Repetitive. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that was um, my little rant. Of yeah. That. That's a little rant of the day. <laughs> yeah. What else you got written down there? Mum made a list of things that annoy her. Is uh, that it? You just today, had one thing? Just, yeah, today just just this one. I think that's what annoyed me this morning. Just that? Just <laughs> yeah. that thing annoyed you this morning? Yeah. <laughs> nothing Nothing else annoy you? No, not not in a minute. Food um, snobs annoy me. Pardon? Food snobs annoy me. What food snob? Uh, uh, someone who's like a, a, a food snob. So that uh, like, I would never, I would never eat there. I would never eat in McDonald's. It's just blah, blah, blah. Oh. oh, I don't like it. It's artificial. I don't, but don't get me wrong. I know people like don't don't like certain things. Like, not everyone likes fish. Not everyone likes cabbage. You know, uh -huh. there's just some things that people don't like. But when people deliberately turn up their nose at something because it's like fast food, oh yeah, that really pisses me off. Yeah, because Hessen Blumenthal, he's got three Michelin stars, right? Uh -huh. And he even says the reason McDonald's tastes good is because they spend billions in making that taste good. And I was watching him on TV once, and he went, when people put that in their mouths mm. and say they don't like it, most of the time they, he reckons they're lying. Yes. Well, he didn't say that, but like <laughs> I, I fully read between the lines. Because what he says is, it's been designed to taste good, so it's going to taste good. Yes. That's what he said. Um, but I read between the lines, and I said, well, if you say you don't like it, normally you're lying. And I know someone's going to put it out, I don't like it, I would never put that in my body, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> But you're lying because they spent literally billions to make that taste good. Do you know what I mean? I do, but sometimes if you don't like it, you just don't like no, it. No, that's what it? I mean. If yeah. you don't like it, you don't like it. Yes. But it's just weird how that kind of person oh, some people... tends to not like Burger King, KFC, eats organic and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I know some people just don't like McDonald's. It's like... Yes, yeah, some people just don't like McDonald's and then just... Um... And people just like, I think organic, when you say, when you say about organic, is organic have to be really, really organic, literally no fertilised or nothing. Like when we were young, we had all our vegetable, yeah. all grown on our back garden on the side of the patch there, and we don't use any fertiliser. I remember we had to go, go to the, go into the, the shop to get, I can't remember what they are now. They're Fertilizer. Like, no, they are like roots like that. We have to pound them and then we have to boil it and boil it, let the water cool down. And when the water cool down, oh. when we had to spray it onto our vegetable. For what? Fertilizing it? No, to kill the, stop the, the insect, go on it. Oh, you made your own. Yeah, pesticide. Pesticide? Yeah. Pesticides? Yes. That's actually quite clever. Yes. Really? Do you remember do what root it was? I can't remember. It come. It's like white colour. White. Mm. 
Short as a root and not just yeah, a box? Yeah, it's a, like, I, I was quite young then. I had to help my mum as well. Yeah, we used to eat, like, used to be older food, like, especially now, used to be poor man food. It's a rich man food now, like the sweet potatoes, the yam and everything. We used to eat the the leaves as well, the tender. Yeah. And the, mm, the beans and the sprout. And we had to pick the leaves, especially the yeah, the end one, the the bin. Uh, it's not bin sprout. It's like you know the green beans when you grow them, they go into the vine. It's only the tiny shoot at the end that is tender. The rest of the leaves are quite tough. Yeah. So they are quite expensive to to buy. Yeah. Only a tiny shoot you can pick and eat them. Those used to be a poor man food, but now rich man food. <laughs> I've never heard of of that before. What the shoot of the? Oh, the stuff they use for garnishing. Yeah, but yeah. we actually stir fry it and eat it. Serve in a they serve it in the restaurant. Right. They're quite expensive. One pot. It, I'm not it's surprised expensive. if you got to yeah. pick. Yeah, only one pan only has a, one. Yeah. Yeah, one shoot, only one small tiny one. Yeah, that makes Everything. sense. Everything we used to eat all the leaves, and when they get too old, family, we used to use uh, the older leaves. When the older leaves is tough, we used to have to get our hand to go scrunch it all up and fry it and eat it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> the potatoes, uh, sweet potato leaves. Sweet potato leaves, what do they yeah. taste like? They're just like slightly bitter. So they, sound, they sound awful. Well, I think the worst one, it was the, the French bean, the dwarf beans one. They are the worst one to eat, I think. But some of you don't realise that when mum was young, she, we she was quite like, poor. Our family, not, yeah. Poor, not poor like, <laughs> like I, I can't afford Netflix this month. Poor, poor as in like sometimes they just eat broth for the entire for three or four days because that's all they could have, which is insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We used to eat a lot of uh, tapioca. Tapioca are easily grown. They come in uh, the roots of the tapioca. Almost every afternoon we have that. Really? Sometimes, yeah. We just boil it, put in a wok there, put some water and boil it, some salt, especially when it's burned or we boil it. You get that barbecue burn. It's really nice. Sounds mm. awful. It's quite nice. Every... <laughs> I'm not a big fan of tapioca there. Yeah. Tapioca, like the starch flavour, has the smell of bad breath. No, that's because it's been growing down. If you have the the fresh, fresh one, one it be tastes a bit different. Yeah. There are two types of tapioca. Are there? Yeah, I think the I think the Africa have the tapioca as well, but it's slightly different from our tapioca. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's interesting. I think so. Yeah, and the yam also. Didn't a know. taro is called taro. We used to eat quite a bit of of that as well. Sweet potato we do, not the orange one, it's the white one, the creamy one, they have got more texture. The orange one, which you can get in the supermarket this day, they are quite um, watery, we call it, not firm enough. Yes, because like a lot of desserts mm. have the um, uh, sweet potatoes in, don't they? Mm. The sweet potato is more firm, it's slightly different colour. Yeah. Yes. I like those, but the orange one, I tend not to like them too much. Yeah. <laughs> but back to say, the food snobs. <laughs> um, yeah, because like at the end of the day, you like what you like. And going out of your way to say that you don't like something just because you're on a high horse, I think speaks far more about you as a person than it ever does about your ability to taste food properly. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, somebody, some people can think that they are above every, above everyone. You is know, it, no, but that's that's exactly it. What they think they're better than you. What they're doing is exactly what how I feel about modern art. Modern art is designed to make people who aren't educated about it feel stupid, because I understand the concept of modern art, but it's just not very good. Modern art, just a pen drop, that sort of. Yeah, thing. it's that sort of thing, like a unmade bed. Oh, that one you call a modern art, That's is it? That's called modern art, oh. yeah. But like anything in the Tate Modern is modern art. Oh, okay. Oh. So I understand why they do it. I just don't see it as art. I see it as someone 
using the facts. Pretentious, is it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretentious. Oh. It's like, I, I, for me, it's another way. That's why I don't like pretentious things because it's a way of making people feel inferior to you because you know something that they don't, or oh. that you like something that they don't, and that's what really irritates me about pretentiousness in general. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, because they always look down on people who don't yeah. think like, oh, you don't like. That's why oh, you eat at McDonald's. Ugh. <laughs> Shut up, put a cheeseburger in your mouth, chew it, and I bet you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Shh. If you haven't eaten for about two or three days, for not say two or three days, maybe two or three months you haven't eaten. <laughs> two or three months? Well, you, I think you'd be dead if you hadn't eaten two or three months. Just water. <laughs> no, you, I, think, I, think, I think if they haven't eaten for 12 hours and you put that in front of them, they'll eat it. A day or two. Yeah, most people. Not eaten, yeah. yeah. But then they can go for a hunger strike then they don't want to eat it. <laughs> I mean, you don't... I'm not forcing them to eat the cheeseburger. I'm just saying, eat, try it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they might do it then. <laughs> yeah. It's like, um... There, there, are, there are, like like I said, so, so there are some junk foods that I think are awful, but I know that people like them. So that's, yeah, they like it. They yeah, like it if they like it, yeah. yeah. That's right. You don't have to... That's, Put, it's, it's the putting someone down I don't like like looking down on them for mm. having their view yeah and like, so who the fuck are you to tell that person they're wrong yeah that's I mean right. I know sorry I know I do it on, on online a lot of the time but I only do it when someone's been a dick mm. otherwise it's just like oh, no, you can do it your way do it whatever way you want oh, that's fine but this is how I would do it um, it's when they're just when they tell me I'm wrong mm. I'm like well Unlike, I tell you what, what annoys, and this is another thing that annoys me, is we we're part of these groups, and there's lots of Chinese people who try and tell me or try and tell us that we're wrong and things like that. And like we're not wrong; it's just a different way of doing it, right? Uh. And then they go, um, they get really angry with us and stuff like that. Um, normally about Pearl River, like it's a soy sauce. Pearl River is a soy sauce. Oh yes. And I'm like, yeah, but if you actually use your mouth and tasted it, you'd you'd understand that there are nicer soy sauce out there than that. You're only using that out of tradition. And because you're so narrow-minded, you can't get your head out of that. And mm. so you, so we are capable of actually listening to our tongues. Yeah. Listening to our tongues? Yeah. Or being honest to ourselves yeah. and going against tradition because it's better. Mm. And not only that, just because you're Chinese doesn't mean you can cook. Most English people can't cook. Mm. Most Chinese, most, and those English people or, or Westerners who, who, who think they can cook, probably only about 50% of them can actually cook, right? Yeah. It's the same with Chinese people. Yeah, Just because someone's Chinese, Chinese doesn't yeah, mean that they mean can that give they you good cook. advice. Yes. If, uh, there's, uh, there's, one, there's one person in this group that they're Chinese and their advice is shite all the time. Like, I don't call them out on it, I don't say anything because they're free to give their advice. Mm. But it's bollocks. It's like, yeah. you don't know what you're talking about. Mm. And then uh, it's just stop giving advice. And... Um, there's there was no there's another one the another thing that annoys me about this as well is like I've worked in quite a few takeaways. You've worked in a few takeaways yes, yourself. Yeah. That and we've got a few takeaways on on there who goes no this is the way they do it and I'm like I, I because I've worked in so many places, I know that not everywhere does it the same right. No. What I say in all of our videos is that they're not fucking the same. No, they're not. This is just one way of doing it. Yes. And they go, that's not how a takeaway does it. No, no, that's not how your, your takeaway, takeaway way does it. Yeah. There was a woman, and the thing is, I want to show you, I want you to react to it. We'll put that on Chin and Chew's channel, mm. um, Chin and Chew TV. Yeah. But she's on this morning, and she's telling people how to make sweet and sour chicken or pork hokong style. Oh, right, okay. And the way she's telling people, it just, it just, we'll watch it, but it really pissed me off because she's given shit advice. All right. Not because... Um, the cooking is shit. I haven't mm. watched it all. Mm. I just heard snippets from mm. from it. Um, I, it's because Lydia showed me, and I went, "No, I don't want to know anymore. I've just, I just, I'm gonna want to react to that later." And the only bit I heard was what Lydia showed me was the part about sweet and sour. Mm. And I heard her say, and then we put um, the ingredients in. Mm. 
and there was like literally four ingredients in it and that's how takeaways make it yeah and that really pissed me off that's when i had to shut that off because that's not how takeaways make it that's how your takeaway makes yes. it yes takeaway around Ooh, it, her area. Scrubble. Or, or no just hers because yeah even uh, uh, my takeaway mm. did something different from the takeaway in my head that's as ten, well that's yeah. 10 minutes away that's right or five yeah. minutes away yeah that's right you why. can't say that's how takeaways do it no that's it's just because then what happens is then people, people get watch it on that their head. yeah and then if that's how they do it that's how i've been told and then they come at me hmm. i said that person that you've told you has got fuck all experience hmm. they didn't even actually work properly they just worked as a child hmm. right <laughs> yeah as a fucking child and then went to college and did all their things and helped out a little bit hmm. right i've done it all the way through to 36 fucking years yeah and you're telling me i'm wrong <laughs> fuck off that's what annoys me yes so there are many ways of doing it, but it doesn't say just how to do it. it. Yeah, it's, just it's, say, dear take away, do it that way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, yes. they're all... It's how they word it. And then you get some people that was uh, sink it in that it should be done like that. Yeah. And, that and is, say you are wrong. It's, mm. it's, that's, it's, that's the, um, it that's, goes back to the arrogance thing. Mm. It's like, because they've been taught one thing, they think that they're right. Yeah. And they're incapable of understanding that that's... Not mm. how everyone does it. Like some people, for when they make chicken balls, mm. they use ordinary flour mm. and then soak it and soak that flour for about two, three hours. So what they're doing there is they're letting the the flour um, absorb as much of the water as possible. Mm. But if mm. you use good quality flour and hot water, you get the same effect. Yeah. It's just, it, I mean, well, it's just two different ways of doing the same yeah, thing. Yes. But one way isn't wrong and one way isn't right. Right, yeah. You tend to get, when with the soak in it, mm. pardon me, you tend to get um, a more doughy batter. Yeah. Because you're letting gluten particles mm. develop, which isn't great for crispiness, but some people like it like that. Yeah. Crispiness, you need the isn't hot water there to take the gluten out of it. Very time consuming doing that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's pointless. Yeah. But I mean, if they if they want to do it that way, absolutely fine. Yes. But that was that is one of my pet hates. Yes. <laughs> I can look, see that. Well, look like, because you look because you don't do the social media aspect of mm. it really, do you? You just no. do s see some things. Yeah. You don't see the the people the arguments about can get very not uh, can get very very. Uh, Heated. Yeah. The, th the, uh, the thing is, I'm not getting heated. They get really angry at me first. Yes. So then I'll, I'll go back. Mm -hmm. so then why they you say angry? you are very rude and all this and that. Yeah, I'm rude yeah. because you were right fucking rude to me first. <laughs> Did you think I'm going to go, oh, thank you for calling me an idiot. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Fuck off. Don't be such, like, do you know what I mean? Yes. I know people are like that. You just cannot. You you just can't do do anything because the mouth is on their face, the brain is on their head. You know. Yeah, that's, <laughs> those are two things that are correct. The, the mouths they do have a mouth on their face. The nose is on their face as well. Fingers are on their hands. Yeah. <laughs> but I just, yeah, it's just one of those things that obviously irritates me. Uh, anything else that irritates you while we're here? Today, I think that's it. Look, 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 just today, like in life in general, there must be something that annoys you. Shoes is. Oh, we were talking about shoes. Oh, yeah, I find... Yeah, shoes. shoes. I do find it quite difficult to get shoes to fit me. And some, especially nowadays, I think they, used, they make the shoe size so much bigger that I couldn't even... I put... I couldn't even fit it in. It's like size four. Yeah. Why, why do they make it so big? But this is a problem that no one has but mum. Because <laughs> mum is tiny. Yeah. What size are your feet? Two. No, I think I have th I have three because I I've got quite long. Um, what do you call toes? Toes. Yeah. Long toes. Yes. Um. I think my feet is quite. S my general of my feet is quite slim, and the back the heel there, and it's quite narrow as well. It's See, fine shoes difficult to fit. My foot's different. My foot is yeah. like wide yes and my toes are like marbles yeah my, I've got I got hobbit feet yeah i've got long toes you see so i have to have the three to fit it but if i have the three will be loose 
So that's that that that's that's honestly I don't think I think like one in a million people are gonna have that issue of having small feet. No, years ago I bought like one of this brand, I wouldn't say the brand name. I used to have the shoes before, it fit perfect and then later on I couldn't find that brand on the high street and recently I found it, I bought it and a size three is a blimmings four, I couldn't even fit it. Oh well I think no. Just maybe uh, maybe foot. I've dreamt this, but I think they up the sizes of everything to make people feel better about themselves. Is it? No. They downed the sizes. No, your feet can only get bigger as you get older. So maybe that's what happened, Mum. No, my feet could not get it's smaller. The shoe size nowadays is bigger. Well, your no, feet... wait, let me get let me get my head around this. Your feet get... So you used to be a three. Yeah, it's You're still You're now three. a four. No, it's not four. It's three still. I bought no, no, the three. But, yeah. It's like size four shoes. So the three. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what they did then yeah. is they're now they've 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 put the size mm -hmm. up or down one. I can't remember which way you'd call it. But so previously, mm -hmm. if you were an XL, mm -hmm. they've made large an XL. Mm -hmm. So now when you go to a shop, yeah. you buy a large. But 10 years ago, that would have been an XL. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, what they they've do done. Just the dress size, they do up it now. Yeah, yeah. to make yourself feel better. Yeah. And more likely to buy more clothes. Is it? I don't know that's why, but that's why I, if I was going to do it, I'd do it. Yeah, some, yeah I do sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why don't they make it all standards in, in the shop. You go into this shop, you have to wear size S. And you go into other shop, and you have to wear an XL. It's what? It's, but it's cut though, isn't it? Pardon? I think this it's also cuts that affect things. So like a, a cut of a t shirt. Well really? But I don't know. I know it is with suits, so you have tailored, regular, mm -hmm. fitted, slim. Mm -hmm. I think fit slim is fitted, but anyway. Regular a uh, slim fit. Slim fit is the tight one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh I I, I don't like slim fit now. You don't? No, I used to, but not anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just too uncomfortable now. Yeah, I don't like any clothes. It yeah. looks like I never change, but the, I, I do wear different. I have exactly the same clothes in about ten, ten, ten <laughs> pairs, so I wear the same thing. I'm basically uh, a Power Ranger without mm. the powers. So if you think I haven't changed, I have. It's just, on, well, not the last two, because the last two episodes we filmed in one day, but um, so this episode and the one before. But yeah. I always look like I'm wearing the same clothes, but they're different clothes. They're just exactly the same. Yes. Yeah. I I wear the same jacket today because it's a bit, a uh, bit cold here. It's freezing here. There's this no insulation. My, this is my uh, warmest jacket I can have. Yeah. Next so, time I will bring a heater. Yeah. Yes. So on that note, because it is getting cold, because it's getting dark outside, yes. we will make a move. Thank you yep. very much for listening, guys. Um, like I said before, if you want to watch this in 4K. Head over to Chin and Chew TV where this is uploaded in 4K um, if you want to watch it. Also, make sure you check out our web store, chinandchew.com. We'll have cookery classes coming soon for anyone who's in the UK. And also we have a cookbook out, which is only available from our web store. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you can comment on any topics you'd like us to cover, that would be really good. Because <laughs> we're struggling to think of things <laughs> to say. Um, we're just, we're just quite boring people when I yeah, think about we, it. Yeah, we cover quite a bit now, but uh, there's so much thing I would say, but it might, might not be, people. yeah, might not be appropriate to say. Yeah, well, maybe you write them down in your head. <laughs> okay. And then we'll, we'll look through them. All right okay. then. All right then. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you for watching, well, listening to Triple C Rated. And we'll be back again next week. We hope to get a, a podcast out every Tuesday. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.